They're being given more TV time. There are some really big grabs so far in the company now with Diana and potentially uh, Mercedes joining. It really feels like the women's division is being treated with the respect that it hasn't for a very long time. So give them more. Let Mercedes be the crown jewel of your division. I say that as a huge Diana Perazzo fan. I say that as a huge a uh, timeless Tony Storm fan, despite what they're doing, despite how great they're doing, strap a rocket to Mercedes and make her the face of your division. At least, at the very least, have her go for the uh, TBS title sooner than later. Uh, Fightful is reporting that Mercedes will still be allowed to wrestle in New Japan. That doesn't shock me. AEW and New Japan's relationship has been very solid. They have maintained their respect and quite frankly, they're probably AEW's biggest ally left at this point. Uh, looking at this tweet from Mercedes Monet, I remember when they couldn't pay the rent. Now I own the whole building that I'm living in. I, I, I feel like if these are lyrics to something, I'm not going to do it justice. But I'll just say, sky's the limit when you're never giving in. You get in, you ride it out, and don't look back again. Musically, you guys know I'm not the guy. I'm not that guy. But... Very interested interested to see where they go forward with Mercedes. Like I said, star, very least, immediately win the TBS title. At most, go straight for the AEW Women's World title. Deal with the ramifications of the others, the fallout of the others, however you have to. It's worth it when it comes to Mercedes. That's how big a deal this is. Mercedes Monet, Monet knowing she is the big business. It's this is a game changer. This is a game changer. This is quite possibly, if not a if not the top free agent out there right now, a top three free agent 